In today's video, I'm going to be answering your assumptions about me as well as getting ready. So if you guys want to know how to create this magical look, <laughs> I know it's fabulous, so fabulous. Make sure you continue watching. Okay, so I've just fixed my hair like this because I don't want to tie it up, but I hate seeing videos when people do their makeup and they have hair on their face. I have actually just put some moisturizer on, but I don't wear primer. I haven't found a good primer for my skin type. I have super sensitive skin. I try and avoid products as much as possible. I stick to products which I know are okay for my skin. So I'm gonna start off with the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I asked you guys on Instagram to send me your assumptions about me. I did this video, I think about a year ago. It was interesting. A lot of you had some interesting assumptions. Some of you kind of understood me or have like some sort of understanding of who I am, regardless of the persona that I portray online, which is cute. I appreciate that. A lot of you can't really see past it. You kind of see things and take them for face value which is probably a sign of immaturity and I don't mean that in an insulting way I feel like you're probably just very young and you're probably unaware of what people on social media are actually like I'm not getting too deep into this I'm in a really somber mood today so I thought it'd be a good idea to actually film this today I don't feel like attacking anyone being aggressive although I am on my period which is strange I just felt like filming something today and I thought like doing an assumptions video would be a good way for you new followers to get to know me because we recently hit 300,000 subscribers, which is crazy. I can't even fathom how many people that is. This is actually really hard to do. I actually did this, um, doing my makeup sitch in a video interview. It was not easy. I didn't even have a mirror. I do have a mirror now in front of me. It's actually still not easy to multitask. Being a woman, I should be able to multitask, but here I am struggling. I think it's because I like to focus all my time and effort into doing one thing and perfecting it. Okay, so the first assumption is you hate people. This is 1000% accurate. I absolutely despise humans. I hate any kind of social interaction with humans. I have very few friends. I have a close, very tight knit group of friends and I'm very happy with the friends that I have. I have a lot of acquaintances. I have a lot of people that I avoid. <laughs> I just look, it's not that I, I know I say I hate people, but I think I just really hate the idea of unnecessary conversation. Like I have my close group of friends. We talk about everything and everything. We don't talk about people because like, I hate people that talk about people. I think it's just such a negative kind of environment to be around. I had a friend that used to just love gossiping at other people and we'd been friends for like six, seven years and I genuinely had to cut her off because I found her so draining. I found her energy so negative. She had to go. It's just not necessary to talk about other people. And I feel like humans really need to uh, get their shit together. Look at the state of the world. I try and avoid humans as much as possible because everyone's so bothered and I'm just such a carefree, unbothered person. I know people seem to think that I'm super bothered about everything, but in reality, I'm just so unbothered. It's a good one, very accurate assumption. This again relates to people. You're often shy in person, perhaps socially awkward around new people, 1000%. I'm so awkward around new people, but it's more because I'm trying to like understand this new person or like new group situation before I reveal my true self. And I feel like that's a very important thing to do. You should never really go into situations and just be your entire self. Like always reserve the best parts of you for the people who really deserve it. It's actually very difficult for me to actually be myself because sometimes I don't know who I'm supposed to be. Do I be YouTube Laylee? Do I be real Laylee? It's difficult, especially if someone knows that I have a YouTube channel, then I'm like, oh, this person is expecting me to be this certain way and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull off this certain way because that's literally just me on YouTube. And I don't wanna disappoint them because you know how sometimes you meet people who you've been following online and you're like, wow, you're actually so much worse in person and I wish I never met you. <laughs> Is that just me? I feel like the less you know about people online, the better and like the cooler they are. But that's also because like a lot of people online, we hide our actual identities that when you actually get to know us, it's like, oh, you're actually a crazy person. I am actually socially very awkward and I am very shy around new people. I'm actually quite an introvert. I, I don't really like going out. I don't like doing anything really, to be honest. I love being at home. I love cooking. I love spending time with my pets and just enjoying life and online shopping from the comfort of my bed. You are secretly dating someone. I mean, it's no secret because I'm being very open about it, but I'm definitely with someone and I do keep my personal life very private, but that's just because I want to. I just don't see the point of having it online because it's my personal life and that's private shit. 
which I don't feel like people need to know about. This is so weird. You like to pay for other people's meals because you want to show off with your money. Um, no, like it depends who I go out with. If I'm going out with a certain group of friends, we'll split the bill because that's, you know, going Dutch is that. Like we won't be like, oh, you had 10 pounds 99 worth of Nando's. So you owe me 10 pounds 99p. Oh, and that two pounds drink that you had, don't forget to put those two pounds in. No, we're not like that. Like we'll just split the bill. If the bill is like 500 pounds, We'll split it equally between us. It's not that deep. If I'm just with like one or two friends, we'll take it in turns to like pay for each other. It's not like, oh, I paid for this, so you should pay for that. Who does that? Like, actually, no, I know people that have done that. And it's just so awkward to me. I can't hang out with people like that. I can't, I can't do that shit. People I hang out with, we tend to have the same mentality when it comes to spending, especially when it comes to like spending on each other. We'll never overthink it. Oh yeah, like you paid for this, let me get this. And it's never to do with showing off money. I just don't understand humans sometimes. Like how does your brain take you to that kind of place? You don't share a big part of your life because your parents said so. Yes or no? My parents have never really explicitly told me I can't do anything. They've said it in certain ways where it's just like, don't you dare. <laughs> If that makes sense. I like to keep my boundaries. I know my boundaries when it comes to what I want to share online. And I think that's the most important thing. I never feel like I can't do anything in life. I think my parents realize I'm old enough to know what's right from wrong. I mean, I'm 24 now, I'm getting old. You tone your sarcasm down on camera and are actually way drier and more sarcastic in real life. I was just thinking about that. I was like, I'm actually such a sarcastic person and I can only ever really be my true self around the people that understand my sarcasm. You know, online, People just don't get it. They think I'm an awful person because the sarcasm doesn't translate to like Americans. I'm kidding. See what I mean? People are gonna get offended by that. I'm not trying to be offensive. I'm just making a joke because I'm, I'm British and we have very dry humor. You share items you don't love, but you don't let anyone touch the items you love. I genuinely share everything. Obviously I have to trust you to let you borrow my stuff. Otherwise, absolutely not. You don't like to make new friends. Definitely true. I assume that you are extremely sweet and helpful to your close ones. I go above and beyond for the people I love. They don't wanna toot my own horn, but I genuinely do. If I love you, I will go out of my way for you. And if I don't love you, I will not do anything for you. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just, I like being a helpful kind of person. I think it's important, especially now in the times that we live in, to be a good person and, you know, be kind and caring and considerate towards everyone. Obviously, if you've given me a reason for me not to be nice to you, then you will have the worst possible version of me, which is obviously not the prettiest, obviously. I can actually be very evil. I'm quite sadistic. If I hate you, <laughs> good luck to you. You don't care about anyone other than close family. Very true. Well, no one's opinions. Um, extended family, their opinions could not mean any less to me than anyone else's online. Like, you're that irrelevant to me. Sorry, but you know, it's true. You are very sweet and super approachable in person. I don't know. I like to be, I think I'm just awkward. Like, obviously I won't be rude. No, <laughs> never. I'm obviously gonna be super nice. You have a heart of gold. That is so sweet. I'm gonna read like all the nice ones. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm gonna read I'm gonna read some some nice ones and some awful ones. Very judgmental. Honestly, no, I honestly could not care less about how other people live their lives and what other people wear or do or drive. I'm just so unbothered. I know it may seem like I care a lot about certain things, but I genuinely don't. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm just really that unbothered about other people. I only care about myself and like people I care about. Does that make sense? Quality over quantity is one of your mantras. 1000%. I definitely believe in quality and that doesn't necessarily mean designer clothes, designer shoes. In the sense of shoes, I definitely believe like the quality designer shoes. Not all designers, but most designers is definitely better than the six pound shoes that you're buying. Like, no, <laughs> I couldn't do that. And I don't mean that in like a snobby way. I just mean that in a sense that I take care of my feet a lot. Feet are very important to me. I absolutely hate them, but they are very important because you don't want those looking disgusting, do you? In general, when it comes to like quality over quantity, I won't wear a lot of different clothes. Like I won't invest in a lot of clothes. I like to invest in good quality pieces that I know is gonna last me a long time because the more sustainable option. You don't need thousands of clothes. You take way too long to get ready. If I was doing this off camera, I would have already been done by now. I take about 10, 15 minutes to do my makeup, 10, 15 minutes to do my hair from wet out the shower. You don't keep secrets from Elise. Well, no, I don't. <laughs> we have no secrets between us. Well, at least I don't. I don't keep anything from her. 
I think it's very important to have a good relationship with your sisters and siblings in general because that's your blood. You've never been insecure about your height. Not really, no. Never like insecure like I wish I was taller. Like the boys in my school would be like, You're so small. And I'd be like, okay, and like it was never like, oh my god, I'm so small, I'm never gonna grow, I'm gonna stay small and I'm gonna be ugly and it's just awful and never find a man because I'm so small. No, absolutely not. You're not as self-centered and money hungry as you come across. I'm pretty self-centered to be fair, like I only ever think about myself. <laughs> Money hungry? No, I've never really been hungry for money. I've been hungry to make my own money because that's how my parents raised me. They don't just throw money in my face and like, yeah, here, have a, have a nice day. My daily life does not revolve around money, which I understand and appreciate that, but I'm not, I don't know why, I, I know, I know why I come across as money hungry, but that's just because my whole online platform is based around luxury fashion, but in reality, like, that's just a small portion of my life small irrelevant portion which i like to share with you guys because i find it funny you get along more with your mum than your dad no <laughs> i get along with both my parents very well see i'm so fortunate touch word to have such amazing parents i thank god every day for the parents i've been given honestly they are just both amazing i'm so grateful to my parents because the one thing i love about my family dynamic is that we can be so open and honest with each other like there's not a single thing I can hide from my parents I will have to admit when it comes to my dad I think I'm a bit more like my dad so we're kind of more on the same wavelength in certain ways but emotionally I'm more like my mum so I go to different parents for different situations because they'll give me different advice I don't know what I do without the support of my parents I'm very very grateful for that Oh, she's looking normal again. Do I do anything else? This is quite fun. Let's do some more of these. You come across a bit of a nice queen, but you're actually a very loving and protective person. Definitely very loving. Definitely very protective over my loved ones, for sure. You are very independent. Yes, I mean, I am 24. My parents have given me like a lot of freedom ever since a very young age, and I'm very grateful for that. I think it's important to give your kids freedom to kind of explore themselves but also they've not let me run wild so much <laughs> i think i'm okay it didn't turn out too badly to be honest oh i just can't deal with this hair it's just so short it's just not me you're pregnant <laughs> considering i'm on my period right now i'm pretty sure i'm not so party girl but you keep it on the down low because of the judgments from other muslims i've always been a black sheep i'm not a party girl <laughs> I will do whatever I want and I don't keep it on the down low because judgments from other Muslims I don't give a shit what anyone thinks because you're not my mum, you're not my dad, you're irrelevant. At the end of the day, the only person that can judge me is up there, not down here. None of these people matter and I will live my best life knowing that I'm not doing anything bad, I'm not being a bad person, I'm not harming anyone, I'm not doing anything wrong. I feel like people just need to relax and I feel like this is like a very typical Muslim thing. Just live your best life but just don't be a At the end of the day I keep it straight with God and that's all that matters. You feel like an alien that doesn't really relate to a lot of things. Definitely true, so true. Anyways, that's gonna summarize this video. I really can't be able to do some more. My camera battery is flashing so I will have to love you guys and leave you if you enjoyed this little assumptions video make sure you smash that thumbs up button subscribe and follow me on instagram i will see you guys in my next video